I'm sure you already know that badge logo designs are super popular, whether it's for a hat or for a patch or some other kind of design, or even one of those crazy embossed metal logo badges that you see on a bicycle. The badge itself just seems like a perfect solution for some of these projects. So today I'm gonna show you how to easily make some badge logo layouts using Elements and Kittle. It's so easy. So if you don't have Kittle yet, go ahead and sign up using the link down in the description. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to get some really amazing, easy badge layouts. So let's get started. So if we look in Kittle over in the Elements panel, we have tons of badges. So if I expand this little panel right here on the left with the little arrow on the right, you can see just tons of badges. Uh, and I know this might be a little bit overwhelming. You might not be exactly sure what you're supposed to do with text, maybe how to warp it in there or, or modify it or whatever you want to do with it. So that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to look at a couple of different badge shapes, and we are going to lay out some types some illustrations so that you kind of get a better idea of how you might use these badges for your own. So I've got four layouts here that we're going to work on and go through where we might place type how to use transformations over in the right panel and just so you get an idea I've, I've chosen four right so I have a circle I have this kind of like uh, pentagram here on the right a hexagon and that tombstone shape that's that's very much badge uh, like for like outdoorsy stuff so if I get started with this circle badge what we're gonna actually gonna do first is simplify our colors a bit it's not that we don't like all these colors it's just that we're not going for something too crazy and so I'm just gonna simplify the colors a bit and hopefully you can see here you have a lot of variability with how you can go in and change different sections of this badge logo uh, to be different uh, colors. And so now that we have a good idea of what we want the colors, we can start adding text. You can hit the T button for that shortcut. And then if I hit the circle transformation, boom, it's super easy to put this text on a path. I'm going to zoom through this. I'm just uh, kind of editing some text here, uh, making a little ESTD over here. And then, of course, on the right, duplicating it and making it the year. And then here in the middle, we have this really, really cool monogram font that's already ready for you to go all you have to do is type in two letters and boom as you can see in just a couple of minutes uh, we have got something really nice uh, that you could even continue to work on if you wanted to so you could click this uh, monogram you could add some border weight and do some really cool interesting stuff with it so uh, that is a really easy way for you to use a circle badge layout so if we move to our kind of curved pentagram shape we want to have our text here in the middle that's kind of how I'm visualizing this and then we want to have some curved text some filler text up on the top and then maybe we want to have an illustration or something in the middle so let's do the same thing we're going to go through make some colors a little bit more simplified we'll add our text there in the middle then we'll add our our area text you know the location of where we are we're going to of course use that circle transformation we can use those little nodes easily uh, and then we can make sure that we're curving the path. We'll duplicate that text and then I've made it small so that both of these sections are curved together. So you can see those two lines add up there. They kind of line up together. So now I've got an illustration and we're going to add a little bit of laurels here on the left and right. These little florals uh, that will kind of fill that space there in the middle. And then we'll put some stars down here in the bottom because there's a little bit of empty space down there in the bottom. And that's a really cool way that you could use this kind of pentagram shape. So now we've got the hexagon, this kind of stretch hexagon and I think we're gonna do kind of the same thing we're gonna add some text here in the middle uh, we have a variable we have variable fonts where you can stretch them accordingly and it will all scale perfectly uh, the modern hand uh, collection will do that for you so uh, again we've got where we're located Portland Oregon I'm gonna curve this text here on the bottom then again we're using established in a year to really fill space nicely and so hopefully you're getting the idea of how you can use some of these badges I'm adding a little bit of visual interest with some icons the lightning icons on the left and right uh, and so we're just really filling out some of these badges mainly with text so now we'll do something a little bit more illustration heavy uh, we have this really nice tombstone shape that you'll see at, uh, at, you know maybe on a patch and what we're gonna do is increase this lettering uh, size to make sure that it fills the curb of that kind of tombstone uh, shape right so it's 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 following that path nicely uh, and then we're also using fonts that go really well together right so we have that kind of rounded serif on top 
Uh, we have a sharper serif there in the middle for camping. And of course, we have our little illustration of our guy hiking, which is kind of the main focal point, And that's a really easy way uh, for you to use this style of badge. Of course, like we showed you in the beginning, we have tons of badge layouts for you to use, a lot of different shapes, a lot of different ways for you to input text and icons and illustrations and things like that. So I hope you have a ton of fun with this and I hope this video was helpful for you. Now, if you'd like to learn more about badge design, I have some videos right here on my right that I know you're going to love. So check those out. And if there are other badge type tutorials you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, create magic.